What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today we'll be remaking Chris Brown's track No Guidance featuring Drake, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's go ahead and set our tempo to 93 beats per minute. And we're going to start off with that main sample that we hear throughout the entire record. Now I feel like this track should have been featuring Drake and this artist. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it's Shay Ekru or She Ekru. And um, this is the sample right here. It's from the track uh, Before I Die. If you guys are interested in how to make this sample, I will do another video, but I went ahead and sampled it beforehand, and uh, this is what it sounds like. But if you are interested, I will post a video on how to get this sample. On this sample over here, we're just going to go ahead and add in a little bit of reverb. We're going to go over to reverb and we're just add in some verb here. All right, and then from here, we're just going to go ahead and duplicate this over and we're going to go ahead and uh, create the pad sound that's heard throughout the entire record. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just draw in a MIDI here. And uh, we're gonna go over to our browser tool. We're gonna go to organ. And then we're gonna go over to a lighter shade organ. And let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. So it's gonna start off with something like this. I just pitch this up an octave. All right, so it's gonna go like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this out a little bit more. And we're gonna draw on the next chord here. Draw on the last chord. We're going to adjust the sound in a moment. Just going to turn off the bus reverb over here. Then we're going to go ahead and create another softer instrument track. We're going to go ahead and copy down this MIDI. And then we're going to go over to our browser tool. We are going to go to synthesizer. Then we're going to go to pad. And we're going to take a preset here called the mod wheel sizzler. And it sounds something like this. We're going to layer them together. And of course, they sound nothing like the one in the track yet. So let's go ahead and create a track stack over here. And we're going to do a summing track. And the first thing we're going to do is going to put in EQ and cut out pretty much a ton of the highs and a ton of the lows. We're going to take out some of the low end as well. Leave room for that 808 that we're going to put in. Then we're just going to go ahead and cut a little bit of the mids here. Just bring it down a little bit. Just cutting some of that mids there, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and just adjust this a little bit here. All 
All right, then we're gonna create a new software instrument track and we gotta add in like a top line to the sound. So let's go ahead and copy down this pattern once again. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take the, the bass line over here and uh, we're just gonna leave it like that, but we gotta bring in another sound. So we're gonna go over to our browser tool. We're gonna go to pad, or sorry, synthesizer pad. And we are going to bring in a preset called the Crystal Sun. Here it is right here. It's gonna sound something like this. But we're gonna pitch this up, a couple octaves. Now that's a little bit bright, so we gotta bring in an EQ and just pitch, uh, sorry, not pitch it down, but cut out some of the highs. We're gonna bring it down in volume as well. All right, so now we got the main sort of section to the track down. Let's go ahead and start adding in our drums and create a new software instrument track. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. And uh, we're gonna bring in the No Guidance drum kit. And uh, let's just turn on to mono for now, just so it's ready for our 808s when we bring it in. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in that clap. Duplicate that over. So I'm going to add in some reverb here on this clap. I'm just going to duplicate this track over here. And we're just going to layer up the first clap hit on bar one and bar three with another sound. This right over here. And uh, bar three, here it is right here. So I've got it. Bring this down in volume. All right, so that sounds good like that. Next, let's go and create a, another, actually, let's go ahead and duplicate this track because we're gonna continue on with the drums. All right, and for this one, we're gonna go ahead and draw in the kick. Let's take off the reverb, we don't need it. Let's go ahead and draw that in here. Just bring this up in volume. We had a quick hit over here. Another hit over there. All right, so that sounds good like that. Let's go and just lower that up a little bit. So we're in EQ. I'm gonna take a little bit of the top end as, out of this as well. A little bit. All right, that sounds good like that. Next, let's go ahead and duplicate this track. And uh, let's remove that EQ. And let's go ahead and draw in that uh, triangle sound or the perk sound. And that just happens at the end of each bar, just like this. Just bring in some reverb. All 
All right, and next let's go ahead and bring in some of those 808s. There's two different 808s here. And uh, let's go ahead and bring that in now, duplicate this track. And let's go ahead and bring in that 808. All right, so let's go down to a nice low octave. Going to mute this over here. duplicate this up and just put in a bass here sort of bass 808 sound and it's going to offset that So there is our main pattern right over there. Let's bring back the vocals in. All right, so let's go ahead and duplicate that over. Duplicate over twice more. We're going to take out that vocal hit over there. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and duplicate up, and we're going to bring in those hi-hats that come in. It's going to go with something like this, change it over to a brush tool, eighth notes, and uh, let's go ahead and draw that in here. There it is right there. All right, let's duplicate that over. And then there's another sound that comes in right over here. It's sort of like a piano pluck sound. So it's great, a new softer instrument track. And uh, let's go ahead and bring up that MIDI region. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in a sound. We're gonna go over to browser tool. And uh, we're gonna go over to synthesizer plucked. And we're gonna bring in a preset called Asian plucked strings. Where is it here? Asian plucked strings right over here. And uh, let's go ahead and draw on that pattern. get something like this But on this sound, we're going to go ahead and make sure it's a little bit more quiet and uh, in the background. So we're going to go ahead and bring up our EQ. And we're just going to filter out a lot of the highs. So we're going to bring in some reverb here. And we're going to go over to a large space, warp space, gunshot. And uh, let's go ahead and just make it a little bit more in the background. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. That's a little bit too much. All 
right, so there's our piano sound. Next, let's go over to the next four bars and a new sound comes in. We're creating a new softer instrument track. And for this sound, we're gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. We're only gonna be using a sine wave here to oscillator one. So we're gonna move the triangle mixer to 100% to oscillator number one. We're gonna set this to mono and let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. We're just going to go ahead and duplicate that over. Actually, I think this might be a little off here. There it is right there. We can go ahead and duplicate that over. And we're going to open up an EQ. Once again, we're going to take out some of the highs. And some of the lows as well. This is going to be happening in the background. All right, and that's the sound right over there. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and just duplicate this over without the high pitch sound. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, push over the kick. We're going to push over the um, Sorry, the 808s, the two bases over here. So it's going to get like this. And then we're going to push this over. I have to go ahead and duplicate that track. And let's go ahead and draw in that snap. some reverb and then it kind of cuts out right over there somewhere around there back into this right over here. Let's go ahead and duplicate that over. And then we're gonna cut out this, something like that. This cuts out as well. comes back in and we're going to bring it in at that chop maybe a little bit before actually then we're going to go and duplicate this over and we're going to bring back in the vocal track there as well the vocal sample so that is pretty much the track right there so sit back relax and enjoy Listen to me, we just put together Chris Brown's track, No Guidance, featuring Drake. Also should have been featuring Che Ekru. Let's go.
All right, so that right there is Chris Brown's track, No Guidance, featuring Drake. For all you Logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place that as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. For your non-Logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm going to go and export all the MIDI stems, audio stems, include the drum kit that we used in this tutorial. And you can find that entire playback below the like button under this video as well. If you do have any questions on this or just want to chat let's go ahead and talk in the comment section below and if you do like these videos remember thumbs up share it and of course hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one i'll talk to y'all soon later peace